my parents got my older brother Alexis for his 18th birthday and got me the cheapest car they could find online, so my grandparents threw them a humiliation party and made all relatives hate them. My brother got a car for his 18th birthday, not a new car or anything. It was a 20-year-old Lexus that was in pretty good shape, and he rubbed it in my face for the rest of the time he was in his senior year of high school. Compared with my brother, I get just as good grades as he does. Better in some cases. Even. I worked my hardest in the hope of fairness. I even volunteered to clean up garbage in my local area. Then my 18th birthday came and went a few weeks ago, and the only thing I wanted, the only thing I was hoping for, was a car. I wasn't expecting something like a new car or a sporty car, just something reliable like my brother got. The party was different from my brother's 18th. For his 18th birthday, my mom baked the cake herself. It was a delicious layered chocolate pudding cake. I got a sheet cake from the supermarket. For his, they got a DJ. For me, it was my dad's old boombox with a couple of mixed CDs. We went through the whole party, and my parents might have just been waiting to spring a surprise gift on me. But that didn't happen. As things were wrapping up, I asked them why there was no car when my brother got one. And they said that they felt like he'd worked harder for it. I wondered what he did that I didn't do. Because I did all of that and more. My grandma was nearby and heard everything. And then she asked them why as well. She lectured my parents that she was very disappointed in them for showing favoritism. Then she announced to everyone still there that my parents thought getting their firstborn son a car and DJ was fine, but not their second. And then she even pointed out how much harder my parents tried for my brother's 18th birthday than they had for mine. My uncle was the first to stand up and say something. Then, everyone else who'd yet to leave. I walked away and went to my room to sit and think. I got a few I'm sorry calls from relatives. And my grandparents convinced me to go out with them for the evening. But when I got back, my parents were pissed and told me I'd shame them to the whole family. I just walked past them because I didn't want to fight. The next few weeks went by with the silent treatment between us. My parents suddenly surprised me a few days ago with a white 98 Subaru Legacy that runs great. They practically threw the keys and the title in an envelope at me and said to have fun. I got the car, and they're paying for insurance for the next six months like they did for my brother. I know a car isn't a right but a privilege, so I feel like I've essentially blackmailed my parents into getting me one. Update, I got a part-time job that later went full-time for the summer after graduation. However, three weeks into working part-time, the Subaru blew the head gasket on the highway at about 45 miles an hour. The temp gauge redlined, and I had to pull over and call for help. My grandparents looked at the car and found that someone had run a lot of gasket sealer in it, and it was still in the coolant. The car was band-aided back together before my parents bought it and was then barely hanging on by a thread. It drove great, and I never pushed the car hard as I'm a slow driver. My parents claimed no prior knowledge of the problem, but their only real reaction was to shrug and say it was karma for making them get me the car in the first place. Well, that was a mistake because my grandparents were right there to witness that, and they tore into my parents like none other. My grandma told me to wait in my room and let them sort this out. It was two hours before I was called back into the living room. My parents were on the couch, and both looked like they'd both been metaphorically hit by a truck. My uncle and two other relatives were there now, too. My grandparents had gotten it out of them, and when they bought the car, they just looked for the cheapest thing they could find close in the area that still ran, and bought it, no questions asked. They didn't even bother inspecting the car, let alone properly read the ad. My uncle, who knows a thing or two about cars told me that the engine would need to be rebuilt because the head gasket warped the block, and it cost more than the car is worth fixing. I had to call into work and tell them I could not make it in because my car was dead. They understood and put me on unpaid leave for the moment. Now. I want to point out that I had no involvement in what happened next. My grandparents told me to chill and let them and my parents take care of this. And they did. A few days later, they returned with a 1999 Honda Civic hatchback with 180.000 miles. It was white like my Subaru, and it drives great. It's not all-wheel drive like the Subaru, but it's great on the road and gets better gas mileage. There was also a list of all recent repairs done to the car, such as a new radiator. My uncle also went over the car before giving it the okay. I thanked everyone profusely. My parents, though, had all the elation of Ben Stein on Valium. They said very little and just walked away. There wasn't even that vibe they had last time of acting like they were giving a new toy to a brat. How they acted was just pure defeat if I could put it into words. The Subaru was resold for $400 later since that was the best we could get with the blown head gasket. And that money was put into my savings. That's only one half of what happened. Though, when I said I did better in school than my brother, I wasn't kidding. My brother got a 30% scholarship after he finished high school. Well, I got a 50% one. Not at the same college of course. But at one, it was comparably good, and that was also closer. To say my parents were shocked is an understatement. Of course, they both looked unhappy as soon as the shock wore off. I decided it wouldn't be a good idea to poke the bear by asking them about it. But my grandma thought otherwise and poked that bear. 